Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera for beginners. Starting at number 5. Nikon ZFC. At its heart, the Nikon ZFC is the same as the Nikon Z50. That's good news, because it's 20. 9 MP APS-C sensor and hybrid autofocus system are capable of producing detailed stills and solid 4K footage at 30 frames per second. What sets the ZFC apart is its body, which has been designed in honor of the classic Nikon FM2. It has broadly the same dimensions as its analog ancestor and no shortage of retro style to suit its 80s origins. Those thoughtful throwback cues mean the Nikon ZFC is a distinctive camera. Much of this review, therefore, focuses on the new design of the Nikon ZFC. The current Nikon Z lineup now consists of two APS-C cameras, two second-generation full-frame models, the Nikon Z62 and Nikon Z72, plus the Nikon Z5. The native lens lineup is much more developed for full-frame, with 17 lenses to the two dedicated APS-C zoom kit lenses. However, the new Z28, Mmm. F-2. 8SC lens launched alongside the Nikon ZFC that we had during this test is an aesthetic pairing and a compelling 42. Mmm. F-2. 8 equivalent lens. Coming at number 4. Panasonic GH5 Mark II. The Panasonic GH6 may still be en route for serious videographers. But for beginners and those looking to get into live streaming, the GH5 Mark II is a unique mirrorless option that's the best of its kind. Its main calling card are built-in wireless live streaming capabilities, which you won't find on many other mirrorless cameras. These have also just been joined by impressive 4K live streaming powers, thanks to a recent firmware update. The GH5's Mark II's all-round video talents are strong too, with the option of recording 10-bit 4,2,2 footage internally or externally, plus a huge variety of frame rate options and various anamorphic video resolutions supported. It's a great way to learn your video craft, but offers plenty of room to grow as well, with Panasonic's flat vlog profile serving up 12 stops of dynamic range to fiddle with in post-production. Put all of this in a small, lightweight, and weatherproof body with impressive in-body image stabilization IBIS. And you have a fine video camera that's just as comfortable out on the road as it is being your YouTube or Twitch streaming workhorse. Bundle includes Panasonic Lumix GH5 2 mirrorless camera with 12 to 60. Mmm. F 2. Image stabilization and weather resistant, advanced I. S to 6. 5 stop slower shutter speeds asterisk for stable handheld shooting. Double SD memory card slot for relay recording. The magnesium alloy full diecast front slash rear frame and is not only splash and dust resistant asterisk asterisk, but also freeze proof down to dash 10 degree a C 14 degree F. At number 3. Fujifilm X-T30. It's now been succeeded by the Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II, but beginners looking to save a little money will be just fine with the original X-T30. The two models are virtually identical, with the Mark II model bringing a higher resolution LCD screen, a 1080-240p video mode and slightly improved autofocus. But otherwise, the X-T30 is the same camera, and it remains one of the best ways for beginners to learn to photography, thanks to its retro dials and compact size. Essentially a pared-down version of Fujifilm's X-T3 model, the X-T30 is one of the more advanced cameras on our list. With the X-T30 you get a host of fantastic specs, including a well-performing 26. Much like before, the X-T30 pinches the best bits from the X-T3 and delivers them inside a smaller, lighter, and cheaper body. Fujifilm has kept enough extra inside the X-T3 to warrant offering both cameras, but for most people the prospect of having so much of that camera inside a cheaper and more practical body makes it the obvious better choice. Number 2 of my list Olympus OMD E-M10 Mark IV. If you're looking for a simple, compact mirrorless camera that consistently captures attractive images, the OMD 
M10 Mark IV definitely deserves a spot on your shortlist. It might lack some of the more advanced features of its pricier rivals, including microphone and USB-C ports, but it does a brilliant job as a stills camera. Designed primarily for smartphone switchers, its ergonomic grip, approachable button layout and handy flip-down touchscreen give it good versatility, without cluttering the classically styled shell. It might not grab headlines, but the Mark IV is a fantastic first camera for beginners. The Eek M10 Mark IV is Olympus' answer to cameras like the Panasonic Lumix G100, Fujifilm X, T200, and Sony ZV-1. And it manages to stand out with its classic OMD styling, super compact body and that excellent IBIS system. The 20MP resolution isn't going to grab any headlines, but it's a significant and welcome step up over its predecessor's 16MP sensor, and keeps it within range of the competition. While it's a great first camera for beginners, we'd also recommend the E M10 Mark IV to more experienced photographers on a budget or those looking to downsize from a DSLR. It doesn't deliver the battery or image quality performance of high-end mirrorless cameras or DSLRs, but it could be a great option as a recce or second camera. For those situations, and at this price, it's a terrific beginner mirrorless camera and certainly one of the best cameras for photography around. And number 1. Fujifilm X-T200. Bridging the gap between smartphone photography and the world of interchangeable lens cameras, the Fujifilm X-T200 provides a great mix of physical controls and touchscreen functionality, as well as a decent viewfinder, which makes it easy to take pictures in bright sunlight, the X-T200 has a 3.5 inches display, which is the largest in its class. This display can be flipped out to face forwards, perfect for selfies and vlogging. Having access to settings via a touchscreen keeps things familiar for people moving over from a smartphone. But this camera also offers physical controls, including three dials and joystick, for those confident enough to explore them. It offers a simple-to-use layout and has helpful instructions displayed on the screen to explain menu items within the settings. Six lens which is a great everyday lens for street portraits and travel. It also offers lens stabilization to help avoid blurry images in low light. The X-T200 also gives you access to a broad range of incredible fudge film lenses. This makes it an ideal camera choice if you're ready to invest in a system can grow with your skills. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.